tuned in. Good afternoon, Benedict. What are the main takeaways from this report? Well, let's first say that it's taken almost six months, that it's as therefore being long awaited. Uh, what we don't think there is, is a smoking gun, but there are lots more details. We know she's interviewed 70 uh, people, um, and uh, we know from the police that 83 people were fined, uh, and that resulted in 126 uh, fines. But as you were pointing out, this top senior civil servant, Sue Gray, uh, says that many of the events, quote, should not have been allowed to happen. She's referring to the breaches in the law, the lockdown parties, uh, in fact, over 12 of them, uh, that were taking place in 10 Downing Street with excessive alcohol, as the rest of the population were being told by the Prime Minister, by the Health Secretary, uh, by the entire government repeatedly in daily, uh, hourly uh, or hour-long press conferences, not to socially mix. What were the top aides doing? Frequently with the Prime Minister, they were mixing, they were socially mixing. Now, Downing Street says that these were work events. We've had the word over the months called uh, gatherings. Let's cast our minds back to January. January is when the Daily Mirror, the daily newspaper here, uh, actually started revealing and publishing photos. And interestingly, this long-awaited report has 37 pages of text and new photos. Photos can be very powerful. We had four of them published a few days ago. More of them are now being poured over by the British media, by analysts, by MPs. And what, as we speak right now, after the weekly half an hour question to the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, is going to make a statement to the House of Commons as we speak. And I think it is safe to say that he will be contrite, that he will apologise again and again and again and again. He will say that he's learned his lesson. He will say that he's changed his team. He will say that it's time to move on. He will acknowledge uh, that he committed errors. But this is a damning report. And the fact that Sue Gray talks about political and official, uh, basically top civil servants needing to take bare responsibility for this culture uh, is very damning indeed. It is unprecedented for a sitting prime minister. Benedict, given that you said there has been no smoking gun uh, w with this report and that Boris Johnson will be hanging his head in shame in Parliament and apologising repeatedly, can, is it safe to assume that his job is safe? It is not safe to assume anything in general in life and certainly not in this case. Uh, the revelations started coming. Let's remember this was during the pandemic. We're talking about events and parties uh, that were taking place in Downing Street and in ministries around Downing Street uh, the, during 2020, 2021, but which only begun to really be revealed just before Christmas and then with photos in January. Uh, so although there appears to be for the moment, as far as we can see, no smoking gun, his fate lies in his MPs, the Conservative MPs. Will 54 of them put forward letters and ask for a uh, confidence vote in the Prime Minister? At the moment, the mood uh, seems that it is not so. But is he, in a sense, a busted flush? Has he gone from being a political asset to being a political liability? Can he win uh, honestly, seriously think that he can lead his party to uh, the next general election. It's planned in two years' time. It could be called before then. And that is what MPs will be uh, evaluating right now. Let's see what he says and how this session goes. After his statement, he'll be answering questions, not just from his party, but from the opposition. We've already had the leader of uh, Scottish National Party saying, again, calling for the Prime Minister's resignation. What we know is that the Prime Minister behind closed doors will meet uh, his own MPs around about 5 p.m. London time. And what we know is that the Prime Minister has said that he will call a press conference later on today in Downing Street. Let us see, as the hours evolve, as the mood may change, what those Conservative MPs decide. It might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow. Nothing safe to assume that this prime minister's position is safe. For now, in the coming hours, yes. The coming days, the coming weeks, the coming months, big question marks. Big, big question marks indeed. Uh, Benedict, thank you very much for that. Benedict Pavia reporting there for us.